Whoa. What's up guys, welcome back to Orange 22 Fishing. My name is Dave and today we are on the hunt for some more snakeheads. We are heading out to a few new spots today. One spot I've been in, but it's been a long time and the other spots are just brand new to me. So we're gonna be doing some exploring and some adventuring as well as the main purpose, which is snakehead fishing. We're trying to close out the summer here with a big final push at the end of snakehead season, trying to catch a lot of fish, trying to catch some big fish to close out this snakehead season because the bite's gonna be dying off here pretty soon. And we're gonna be transitioning into striper fishing, pickerel fishing, late fall bass fishing. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up on the channel. But for now, snakehead season is still in effect and we're gonna try to take full advantage. So let's hop in the car, let's explore these new areas and hopefully let's get some snakeheads today. Let me tell you guys a little story. So you just saw my intro right there. That was many, many hours ago. It is now two o'clock in the afternoon. I've been out here since eight o'clock this morning fishing for just under six hours because I took a lunch break in there. But uh, we have had some crazy events go down already. And let me just try to explain a little bit of what's happened. So I got out on this location first thing in the morning, hooked into a really, really big snakehead on a frog. I go to set the hook on it He's clearly on there. He absolutely just choked the frog and he's on there. I go to set the hook. My reel breaks as I set the hook on this thing. It just absolutely shredded the reel because the thing was so big, I guess, and the reel just couldn't handle it and just absolutely botched it. So that reel is shot and the fish got away because I did not get a good hook in him. I had him on for a couple of seconds, but that was that. I fish a little bit more out here but I had to throw my frog on mono because that was my only braid rod and reel that I had out here with me and to paddle way back to the car would have taken forever. So I frogged a little bit more, didn't get anything on the mono. So I packed up, went to another location, fished it for two hours, not even a bite. Saw a couple snake heads, but they were just not biting whatsoever. So now it's two o'clock. I am back at the place that we started this morning at. And I really should not be this optimistic because we have had a pretty uh, crappy day so far to put it mildly, but I'm thinking we're gonna get one. We are gonna try our best. Oh, and by the way, I also had a camera error. My memory card got formatted and deleted all the footage of everything that happened this morning. So it's all right, we didn't actually land any fish. So that was just another thing that happened, but we are back out here and we're gonna make it happen today. I did not come out here today to get skunked. And I'm gonna fight hard as I can to land a snakehead. Thankfully, I did have Maddie's braided set up in the car. I just grabbed that for this afternoon trip right here and we're gonna try to get him on the frog today. Not like we haven't already tried, but we're gonna try again. So I think I'm gonna be throwing a tackle honker. I have a popping frog tied on, but I'm gonna switch that up right now. So now that you guys know where we're at, we have a little bit of a chance to turn some garbage into gold here with this day, man. It has been hot and sunny all day. I've been getting sunburnt, been getting destroyed by biting flies. Like it has been rough. And uh, the good news is all it takes is one cast to change all of that. This frog's gotta get slammed, man. It's got to, it's the same one that got hit earlier. And that fish was big, let me tell you, the weight on that thing, I never saw him, but 100% of snakehead. I could tell by the bite right at my kayak here. And then the weight, man, it was, it easily could have been my PB. But enough's enough, I'm gonna stop talking about the past and focus on the present right here. We're gonna pick this place apart, cast by cast, twitch by twitch and something is going to hit this frog. There is a slight bit of cloud cover that has come in now. And when that sun goes behind the clouds, I'm thinking that could turn the top water bite one a little bit. I mean, snakeheads will bite in the sun or the shade. It really doesn't matter too much, but cloudy days are obviously better for top water. And as until now, there really hasn't been any clouds whatsoever, but now we got a few rolling in, so it could help us out here.
That's a fish. That's a fish. We got some. That might be a bowfin, guys. There is a chance this is a bowfin. Oh no, what? Snakehead? Yes! Makes it all worth it, baby. Get in the freaking net. Ah, let's go! Ah. Turn it around, man. That's why you don't give up right there. Six and a half hours later, our luck has changed. And this is the kind of fishing I love doing. Not even a huge one, I really do not care at all. Not at all, man. Not at all. Let's go, baby. There's another one over there with it too. Such a light hit, man. He just came up and grabbed it. And then the bigger one, I think they must be on a fry ball. The bigger one jumped out of the water when he did. I really thought it might have been a bowfin, but that is pure snakehead right there. I believe he's unhooked himself. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I did not even get a good hook set because I didn't even know my frog had been eaten. I just saw it get sucked under and I didn't think he had it. Hey, what I say, maybe the cloud cover did help us out here. This is probably the darkest snakehead I've ever caught in my life. That's why I thought he was a bowfin because there's really no clear pattern on him. <sighs> Thank God, he finally opened his mouth. I really need to get some metal grippers. But there we go, man. Our first snakehead of the day, not a big one. I, again, I do not care. Awesome fish. Love these guys. Look at him. Such a cool fish. How you doing, bud? Thanks for biting. Thanks for making my day. All right. That's just awesome, man. Picture perfect looking snakehead. Really dark. Again, the darkest I've ever caught. Look at him in the water right there. So cool. Literally so cool. Some people might say, man, why are you so excited for a little snakehead like that? Probably one that was just two and a half or three pounds. I have worked so hard for that fish today, you guys don't even know. And to finally come back out here and just stick with the plan and get rewarded feels amazing. And we're not done yet. We're gonna try to get some more fish into the boat today. I mean, we got one early out here in this third excursion of the day. So we're gonna try to catch some more, man. If you guys want to see exactly what I caught that fish on, we'll show you right here. This is the Teckle Honker Frog, and it's in the white and orange color. It's got those beautiful legs on it. I absolutely love these frogs. Teckle makes my favorite topwater baits. I'm still waiting for him to sponsor me, man. So Teckle, if you're watching, hit me in the DMs, but I'm going to keep using this frog, man. I'm pretty confident we're going to get a couple more. One fish like that just gives you all the confidence you need to keep going. I filmed a bunch of the exploration type of stuff this morning, just showing you guys all of this cool area that we're fishing. But as I said, the memory card just lost everything. So I'm gonna show you guys again. This is pretty freaking cool back here. Wanna give a shout out to uh, subscriber, Jake. I always knew about this spot, but uh, he told me he's been catching a lot of snakeheads back here. So he put me on them today. And uh, any fish we catch, credit to him. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Look at this right here. Look at all that duckweed. I know there's some hiding under there. This looks exactly like the area where I hooked the one this morning that got off because of the real malfunction. Not the same area, but very, very similar. Whoa. I'll just try to eat it right there. I knew there would be one right here, man, but he just, they'll do that sometimes. They'll follow it up. You pull it out of the water, even after bringing it close to the kayak, and they'll just like explode 
two seconds late on nothing. There is clearly more snakeheads in here than the areas that I typically fish, so it is really good to see a population of snakeheads doing so well here in Delaware. Because the places I typically fish, they're few and far between, and we're lucky to catch the ones that we do. But this place, it seems like they are the top predator in this little swamp, so very, very, very cool to see that. Man, I'm way back here in the thick stuff. I mean, this is like, when you think of snakeheads, this is what you think of right here. It's places that are completely worthless pretty much for other kinds of fishing. Like, you would not come back in here for bass. You would not come back in here for crappy, yellow perch, whatever. This is a snakehead spot, man. It's like, people always say, oh, they're invasive, whatever. Largemouth bass are also non-native to Delaware, just like snakeheads are, but people, I found a place in their hearts for those, so I don't know why most people can't find a place in their heart for snakehead, because they fight so hard, so fun to catch. Topwater beasts, man, they get huge, and they make places like this, like I was saying, that you would not normally fish, a really, really cool spot. That thing just broke me off on a frog. <sighs> he broke through my braid. There goes a very expensive teckle frog and I checked this braid, there was no flaws in it, so I don't know how that happened, but I just had another very subtle bite over there. Set the hook into him and just popped. It's really weird, this is strong braid. It's good stuff, Power Pro. I don't know, man. He just must have had some serious, serious teeth and it must have just cut it the right way. That absolutely sucks, but good thing is I got two more Tekka honkers with me. Hurts the wallet a little bit, but that's about it. We'll bounce back. We got more with us. Dang. Been a costly day, man. Broke a reel. Lost a high dollar frog. It is what it is. Hurts a little less after catching that other one, but... That sucks we didn't get him. I'm more upset about the fish we lost instead of the frog. It had to be a nice fish to cut us off like that. Let's try a different color frog just for kicks. It's a little bit different. This one's called Old White Shore. Same frog, different color. It's just all white with uh, red eyes. So I bought a two pack on uh, eBay with the one I just lost and with this one. So. We'll see if the other one can uh, avenge its lost brother. Man, frogging is so much fun. Just never knowing when that blow up is going to come. That anticipation is just crazy. It's hard work frogging, but it is well worth the reward when you get that big blow up. See if I can outfish Mr. Heron right here. Wonder if he's having more luck than me today. Probably. Got him. Oh, yes. That was a hit. That was a hit. He's in the net. And man, I have got to do a better job of getting my stuff together in the back of the kayak. We got another one. Let's go. Outfished your bird. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. That was that textbook snakehead sound that you guys are used to here on the channel. That boom. It's nothing like it. It's like a uh, nuclear bomb getting dropped in the water here from like 10,000 feet up in the air. Got this one on the Tekel Honker in the white color, all white. Look at all the salad I got too, side of salad. Sweet. Another little guy. Still super fun to catch though, man. I'll, I'll catch the little guys all day. Snakehead's a snakehead. It's funny how that works. As soon as the cloud cover came over again, that's when I got that bite. 
So there's definitely something to that, that they bite better when the cloud cover is over us. Man, did he destroy that thing? Look at the face on the frog. <laughs> Woo! There's the freak out that I love. Some people would be annoyed by that, but I love the way that these things battle till the very end. Yep, there it is. Sheer power. It's just crazy. All right, guys, got the hook out. Got our second little guy of the day. Even smaller than the last one, but really cool fish. He was probably born two summers ago. They do grow pretty quickly. Maybe even last year is when he was born because uh, he's about, I'd say 18 inches. So yeah, I'm guessing about two years ago is how old this guy is, but he's a little one. Super, super fun to catch though. And he exploded almost like a 10 pounder, but we'll let him go. See you later, bud. Look at that pattern on the top. So cool. So cool, there he goes. Back in there and you would never know he was there. Well guys, it has been a heck of a day. We have had a lot of ups and downs and at some points there's been a lot more downs than ups, but the ups that we did have made it worth it today. We caught two snakeheads, both on the topwater tackle honker frog. I will leave the link for that bait in the description of the video. And the work that we put in paid off today. Not giant fish by any means, but super, super fun fish to catch. Exploring a spot on a body of water that I have never been to before in this area. I've been to some other areas on this body of water, but never right here. So it was fun just exploring today and just having the experiences that we had out here. If you guys did enjoy coming along with me today, please give me a thumbs up down below, drop a comment and hit that red subscribe button. Push that notification bell as well. That way you do not miss a single video that Maddie and myself put out. We got a lot of exciting content here on the channel and much more to come. So thanks again for watching this video, guys. I'm gonna fish for like five more minutes and then get out of here and take a nap. But uh, again, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.